Before we go any further, we must give props for being a Carnegie Foundation High Research Productivity R2 University, the nation's largest HBCU, 11 MEAC football titles, 5 FCS playoff appearances, and of course, 4 straight Celebration Bowl wins, 10 NCAA men's basketball tournament appearances, and women made the fit trip in 2021. Track and field program brought back three medals, including two gold in the 2020 Olympics, men's program ranked number one. But now, let's talk about North Carolina a &T. We need to understand some folks. North Carolina a &T has been underrated and under promoted. Looking at their schedule, I'm going to call it. They're going to win two out of those first three games. Say what you want, those are bobbing the barrel. They may mess around and win the MEAC as well as the Big South. They have returning preseason All-Americans damn near every position. Well, every level. Receiver, offensive line, D-line, linebacker, defensive back, kicker. I will mention running back, tight end. If they get stable quarterback play, if they get stable quarterback play, this team could be a problem. Defense is going to be stellar. And right now, with the Big South looking the way it looks, it's basically one versus five. I'm not saying they'll win it by default, but they will, they will stretch their power. They will show what they can do. This is basically a weaker version of the MEAC, except they get into the playoffs. Kickers, it's not Jackson State. The kickers are actually pretty good. So it won't be a, a position battle loss. That's fl flipping the field. Extra points missed, kicks missed, they have it. And of course, Mr. Sam Washington, the coach like no other. I always call Coach McNair the dean of SWAT coaches right now. Well, Sam Washington not only has his number, but he put it on block for the Celebration Bowl. So with that being said, the HBCUs go, there is none bigger than a and Like I said, with the Big South, who do they got? Robert Morris, Brian Gardner-Webb, Charleston Southern. It's really a two-horse race between Campbell and a and Last year with a and getting into the Big South, they had a couple of problems. Problem being one, in the South State. <laughs> that was a problem. Problem two, being Mammoth. That was a problem. So what does that mean? Well, they're gone now. a and had another year to see where they were at to scout, to recruit, and develop. You give Mr. Washington that kind of time, he is definitely going to be a problem. And with them winning basically the MEAC on their schedule and the Big South on their schedule, and winning one of those two out-of-conference big games, you know, NDSU or Duke, you can't put this past Sam Washington. Sorry, Mr. Washington. Remember East Carolina? Yeah. He did that. This has been a school that has been constantly beating FBS opponents from an HBCU standpoint. This is what everybody wants, right? They played a big dog on the block, North Dakota State, again in North Dakota. Because we all know North Dakota State ain't leaving the state of North Dakota. And they play Duke in Carolina, which is technically an uh, ACC team, but it's a bottom of the barrel ACC team. Yes, last year, Duke did lay the smack down on A&T. But did you know going to that game, half A&T was in? Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah!